In this video, I'm gonna show you inside of Hong Dian, the Forbidden Palace, Guangzhou and Hong Kong Old Street and the Qing Dynasty Temple. So stay tuned to see more from inside China World or Hung Dian, the world's largest movie studio. Welcome to Hung Dian Studios. This is the largest film studio in the world. So now we are in the Qing and Ming Dynasty Palace. So this is the Forbidden City replica of the Forbidden City in Beijing, which you are able to walk around and video. Hongdian Studios is located about an hour and a half drive away from Hangzhou. So Hongdian Studios is made up of 13 different shooting bases. Most of Chinese TV and film is shot in Hongdian Studios, where they have different shooting bases for the different periods of times and different locations. This is also a tourist attraction now. So as you can see, people are here to come and visit these different locations. Right now I'm at the Forbidden Palace. I've not been to the Forbidden Palace in Beijing, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like inside. It's lots of umbrellas because the sun is actually really strong. I don't blame them. So Hung Dian, let's talk more about Hung Dian. As I've said before, it is the world's largest film studios. The total area of up to 330 hectic acres. The building areas of over 495,995 square meters. It also boasts the largest indoor Buddha figure in China, the largest scale indoor studio, and the highest number of films and teleplays shoots as of 2005. It's a functioning tourist attraction as well as a functioning movie studio. So we are about to enter the Forbidden Palace in Hung Dian. So here we are in the next section. I don't remember the Forbidden Palace having a big waterfalls like that. So we want to go to the Hall of Supreme Harmony and then the Gate of Heavenly Purity. Wow, these are some great names. So it's nice that they have the, uh, the English translations here there. So I asked if this is similar to the one in Beijing. She said, it's the same, Yangda. I don't know, it feels less historical being on a fake movie set there. It's nice to get to see what it would look like without actually going to Beijing. To be honest, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. So let's go up these steps to the Hall of Supreme Harmony. Some cool stonework here. Not a bad view here, actually. Oh, yes. Look at this. this is the part we want to see. The Hall of Supreme Harmony. I don't think there's any massage chairs in the one in Beijing. You can actually see out in the distance as well, The that is constructed too. They have made some film sets up on the mountain as well. Now this is a replica of the Forbidden Palace in Beijing. And apparently it's a little bit smaller but all of the things, all of the objects and the buildings are the same. So this is a really cool feat of engineering and building by the Chinese movie studios. They use this place to shoot movies and TV. In fact, this place has had the most TV and film shoots in the entire world. And uh, you can come here to visit the Forbidden Palace if you haven't been to Beijing. I wonder if there are any other one-to-one -one scale replicas of monuments in the world. The Hall of Supreme Harmony.
Pretty cool, huh? Let's go in and take a look. What's in here? can rent a bunch of costumes to wear. So, Jagaran, Shenzai, Gamwa, Shua, Beijing, the Difang, Gunda. I will be young, the Jagger Difang, or Puhe, Jagger, Li Shi, Dosha Jagger, Shua, Mayo Ganja. Oh, what you go, Shia? <笑>晚上去广州香港街嘛嗯好我去找到我的朋友 Enjoy your time Alright so he was just saying that the place in Beijing is a little bit bigger than this and uh, we were talking about some Chinese history but um, I'm not gonna lie I didn't understand everything he said um, my Chinese is not that fluent Here we are at the Guangzhou Hong Kong street. I'm expecting lots of neon lights. We are making our way to the Guangzhou and Hong Kong old street. Now this area is supposed to be Guangzhou and Hong Kong in the 1920s, 19, early 1900s. Okay, so here we go, just as expected. A lot of neon signs and old school buildings with old school advertisements. So let's walk down the Hung Dian Film Studios version of old Hong Kong and let me give you guys a look. It looks pretty cool so far with all of the um, neon lights. We have a Bruce Lee statue here of course. So let's keep on walking.
Hello? It it does work. Hey, Guangyi, we went to the same mail. Fang Tian can be there. Now, you next week, uh, send to us a call. Okay? We've come to the Japanese corner. Now your costume fits, yeah. So as you can see, they also have some street performers here playing mahjong. Uh, you can see she has the fake hair in her. There's, so there's probably one person that gets paid to stay there and play pai show with the others. And you also have some people that are staying in the windows. Some people, I guess, they hire some women to stay here to take photos. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, please drop a like. We're going to have a part two of this Hung Dian series where we visit the Qing Dynasty Palace. And we're also going to have a video on Shi Hu in Hanzhou, the famous West Lake. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.